Hey, what's up, Zach here. And if you've been watching any of this summer's Olympics, you are seeing just how hot it is getting on the surface of the courts that these athletes are playing on. Even the beach volleyball players are having to have the sand sprayed down after every set because it's just getting so hot under their feet. Which leads me to a question I get asked all the time, and that is when I'm playing tennis or basketball or anything on a court in the hot summer months, how do I keep my feet cool? Well, I got a couple tricks, and one's a little bit out of the box, or maybe in side of one. Let me show you. So when you're playing outdoors in the hot summer months on a court surface, basketball, tennis, pickleball, whatever, just remember the air temperature is going to be less than the court surface. The court's always gonna heat up more. So you always wanna make sure that your shoes in the summertime have good ventilation. This is one good example of the Nike GT Run. The uppers are made of all mesh. This is a really good outdoor basketball shoe for the summer months that just breathes so well. If you're on a tennis court, something like the Head Revolt Pro with the mesh bottom that actually exchanges heat from the bottom of your foot, is also a great pickup. Now, when looking at socks, you always wanna have a sock that is a white, tall, like crew length level sock. The reason is, is that the white material will reflect heat more than a darker sock or even just your skin tone. So when the sun starts beating on your leg, if it starts beating on the white crew sock, it's gonna reflect more heat and keep the temperature down. Now also, you want something kind of like a poly cotton blend. You don't want a full bed of cotton underneath of it that just soaks up too much moisture. And with your socks, same as your shoes, you want them light and ventilated. So even though I love Thorlo socks in the summer, time you got to go with something more like Selenko which has all these breathing channels in them and is just lighter in more places and only padded where you need them. Now of course different types of powders can help decrease friction in your shoes which also then will decrease the heat however I never recommend sprays or aerosols just because that can actually interact with the sweat in your foot and actually give you a skin outbreak so then your foot's on fire but for a different reason. My most unusual but definitely most effective trick for keeping your feet cold on a hot court surface is to get an insulated lunch bag or lunch box, whichever one, as long as it's insulated. Then get a couple of these reusable ice bricks you can refreeze in your freezer. Get about two or three of them. What you wanna do is you wanna put one down and then you wanna stack your socks in the lunch bag. You don't wanna roll them up like this because you'll get uneven cooling. You want them to be laying flat like this. And just stack them one on top of another and then on the bottom you have your other ice brick. That's gonna keep the cold air going in between all the socks and keep them really cold. Now what this does is every time you put a new pair of socks on, it's now driving the temperature down in your feet. And since you lose so much heat off the bottom of your foot, the sock is now just sucking all the heat out from your foot. This is a really effective technique, especially on super hot court surfaces. But just remember, before you put on a new pair of socks, make sure you are drying your foot really effectively. The last thing you want is a really sweaty foot trying to get into a cold sock. It's gonna take you just forever to get it on. And remember, all these little things do add up to better performance on whatever court you're trying to play on. And oftentimes it is the little things that are the difference between winning and losing. Now, if you wanna see some of my other tips and tricks for keeping your feet healthy, no matter what conditions you might be playing in, make sure you click into the playlist up above and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next video.